Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. Back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We're pulling the uh, cotton harvester out of the shed. I'm going to take it over because it's time to harvest. We've got a cotton harvest ready to go. I'm going to pull this down here. This is our first cotton harvest here, so get this unfolded. And lined up here. Gotta line these up with the uh, the forks in the front. Don't back off in the river, Matt. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're in business. All right. So you know what's better than uh, uh, cotton harvester on uh, our first cotton harvest? Two cotton harvesters on our first harvest. I went ahead and bought the second one, guys. Uh, I just thought, uh, hey, why not? You know, it'll cut the time in half that it takes to harvest it. So here we go. Get rid of this one. Tire that out. And they're rolling. Now the best part about this is I don't have to babysit these. These guys can just roll. They'll do their own thing. They'll drop their bells when they need to. And uh, all I got to do is come get them when they're done. So, yeah. They're good to go. Harvesting the cotton. Isn't it pretty? You know why they call it the uh, the snow in the south. You just look at it. It's white as far as you can see. It looks like snow on the ground. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. It's even more pretty. Uh, I think my uh, YouTube, if you're if you're on my YouTube page, you can look up at the top and the, I guess, cover photo, the background photo, whatever you call it, uh, that is actually a cotton field nearby here. And uh, it's just so pretty. It's, it's beautiful. So, yeah, that's cotton. This is a cotton harvest. So... This guy's going good. Go back over here and check on this one. This one's going good. Got a nice size field here. I'm curious to see what the yield will be off of one row here, one pass. So while these guys are doing that, I'm going to tab around and take these soybeans that I just harvested not too long ago. I slept uh, a bit there. It takes the cotton a while to grow. Uh, I planted it on, let's see, about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. And then I slept a night, went a whole day, slept another night, and then they were done by the next morning. So, maybe about a day and a half. They probably, I don't know, they might have been ready that night, so it still would have been a day and a half. So, about a day and a half. If you plant them, uh, maybe in the evening, plant the cotton in the evening time, it should be ready by, not the next morning, but the morning after that, so... Yep, take these soybeans in, and we'll do something over here. I need to plant something over here. But yeah, those guys, they can just roll, and um, we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, I should have moved this tractor. Ooh, I should have moved that tractor. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's uh, basically the big story, the big news of what's going on is the cotton harvest. I've been uh, really wanting to get that set up and rolling. You know what I didn't buy? I need to buy a bale pickup for that. For the cotton harvest. Let me dump these soybeans in here. Um, let's see. Cotton technology. Now. Hmm. Got some mods in here by Stevie. I guess you can probably change the color doesn't hold any more capacity they're just these are the semi trailers that hold two bales I honestly could see using maybe like that one as like kinda like an auger wagon where you just go out into the field and pick it up and then bring it out to the edge I thought about getting a wheel loader but that wouldn't be realistic at all because you don't use wheel loaders to pick up cotton bales so why don't we buy that and use this? This holds one bale, and we could take this and store our bales if the price isn't good. And then when we go to sell them, we can use the semi truck because you can take two bales with that. So let's get one of these. And we're definitely going to change the color, guys. You know we've got to. You know we've got to. We're trying to make this as John Deere as we can. Challenge accepted. Buy that. And 
this one. How can we do this one? Let's see, main color. I'm glad we got the previews in here now. That's so nice. I don't have to buy it to guess what I'm buying. Uh, let's see, white. We'll make that green. Yes. Rim color. We'll make that John Deere yellow. And this cover here, uh, John Deere yellow. Why not? Looks good to me. Nice. All right. We're blowing that money, man. We just spent uh, $60,000. That's crazy. All right. So we've got that emptied. Jump the rail there, Matt. Why not? So now, I'm thinking about trading in the Cedar. I'll be honest. I'm thinking about trading it in and getting the Stevie one. Because the Stevie one will do all of them. So I might trade that in real quick. Might as well spend the rest of our money we got. We got we got money sitting around the farm though. We've got uh, we've got all these trees still left to cut, and we've got crops that we can sell if we absolutely have to. Is there anything in this planter? Yes, there's some fur and some seed. So I need to dump that out somewhere. Right out here looks pretty good. Did it dump it all out? Yeah, one of them is seeding. No, two of them seeding, one of them is fur. Okay. So we'll go dump this. I want to see if we can do fur and seed on the upgrade. So we'll run this over here. Because see, this one just does the wheat, barley, canola, soybean, stuff like that. The upgrade will do them all. So I'm kind of curious to see what, if it'll feel over there. Uh, we'll repair it before we sell it. We'll sell that back. Yes. Okay. We'll buy. Uh, that's the one we had. That's the end game one. We have a Stevie one. We like our Stevie stuff. Uh, 15 meters versus 12 meters. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to see which one was bigger. This one's bigger. Uh, yes, we can change the main color. Let's do John Deere green. Rim colors. Do John Deere yellow. Design color. John Deere yellow. Looks good to me. Looks John Deere-ish. Even though it's not John Deere, but we're going for John Deere colors. Not really necessarily John Deere brand names. I know there's some mods out there for planters and stuff like that, but um, we'll uh, just do the colors. I need to reset these things. I forgot about these. Reset. Reset. And I still got to sell that bell fork back up there. All right, let's go down her. Let's get our sear first. What are cotton guys doing? Where are they at? They're almost to the end. Okay, now this guy did something weird. He has decided to stop over here for some reason. So let me tab over him. For some reason, he decided to stop and turn around right there. He should go on straight from here. Unless there is like a stump or something that I missed right there, he might be picking up on the rock. That rock might be saying, he might be seeing that rock and saying no. So I may have to bring this in a little bit, maybe just a couple furrows. We'll take him back that way and see in a little bit. Step back to our other guy. Okay, he got 7,800 liters on that pass. Their capacity is 20. So he should make another full swing here and dump a bale on his way back down this way. All right, so that's good. All right, let's get this stuff here. Yeah, may have to take a little bit of that. I was af I was afraid he might pick up on something over there. I'll double check to make sure there's not a stump in there anywhere. Smooth that out. Maybe if I smooth it out a little bit too, it'll help. But this is the Condor by Stevie. 
we made it John Deere colors I want to see if it will fill both seed and fertilizer so that's the seed tank can't change that at all so we'll start filling that the next one is the fert tank and it totally works so I may I don't know I, I kind of like that other cedar got it parked back there this one does fill at the pipe the other one does not so yeah I don't know and I, I don't know maybe it has a different trigger area on it or something I would think that it would be the opposite tank but maybe not alright guys what do we want to plant well we've got plenty of soybeans I think let me uh, look here and see what we got we'll just call this a uh, modified planter slash cedar that does all the crops what do we got in stock here let's see we've got plenty of soybeans we've got plenty of oats we don't really need oats um, the only things we don't have really plenty of we got plenty of wheat uh, are canola sunflower and corn we need to do sugar beets but we can't afford a sugar beet harvester at this time so why don't we do sunflowers so let's switch this over to sunflower right there and we will hire that out oh i need to take it up faster than six though had it on six for the auger wagon got to make sure you uh, remember to see that because if you use something on auger wagon and you set the cruise to six it'll plant at six so got to uh got to be sure we do that i don't think we needed to plow this field i don't remember even looking uh yeah i think it needed to be plowed say so, do we have to plow after cotton according to this we don't this is on right yeah that's on so we do we did need to plow this one it had weeds in it covering it up so we did need to plow that we'll get it on the next go around i guess 13 needs to be plowed so i need to take uh, something up there to plow that uh, why not the tracked one here? We've got the big uh, 9R now. I'm going to save that one, I think, for the, uh, the big planter. Yeah, I need to double check this planter here. That one right there. I need to double check that and see if I can find a fertilizer trigger on it somewhere. Oh, where's my plow? Where'd I leave my plow out? The last place I was plowing was over here. Way down yonder. I don't think I left it way down there. Really. Plow. Is that it down there? Oh, there it is. Right there. It's so dirty it blends in, it's camouflaged. I need to reverse it. Alright, I'm gonna take this up here to plow 13. I'm probably gonna have to line it too. Helper E has stopped work unexpectedly, unknown reason. Who's Helper E? With the planter? No, there's the cotton harvester. Well, it's not the cotton harvesters. It's gotta be the planter. Um, where's my tractor? 7R. This gotta be the planter. There's the combine. Well, there's the tractor way over there. What's going on over there? Is it in the river? Tell me it's not in the river.
Man. You cannot get good help these days. <sighs> nice brand new shiny 7R. And it's in the river. I'm telling you. Alright, well, I don't want to reset the planter because it's got seed and fruit in it. So we're going to have to try to come get it out. Somehow. I've got to reset the tractor because it's in the drink. Mmm... Hopefully the cedar won't slide forward. It's not so far, so. All right, let's go see if we can get this thing out of here. Lost my front weight too, didn't I? Did I have a front weight on here? I did. It must be down way down there. There it is. All right, let me get this real quick. Probably gonna need my front weight. again yeah it seems to be going normal now I'm gonna take an extra edge off of that and see if that'll fix that I don't know why it did that that's weird maybe I need to start from the other side go the other way I don't know really should do probably is turn on create new field there might be like a trigger or something over there telling it to turn just turn on create new field and then plow this field up it'll be plowed anyway and it was just on this one pass I don't know I'll uh, turn it back on down here and if we can get it out of here. Let's see now, how deep is this? Does it go all the way down? Yeah, that's a pretty steep drop off. Um, hmm. Well, if I lower my front weight, like so, I might be able to push it around. Right on the tire here. Here we go. That's thinking outside the box. I'm going to hire this out and babysit it for a minute. You just can't get good help these days. I'm telling you. Let's hire this out now. Get land up here. Alright, so let's babysit this for a minute. See if anything happens here. It got done. It, it looks like maybe it was at the turnaround down there at the end of the field back there. As to why it turned around, I don't know. Let me go drive this other tractor up there real quick and get him going. Trying to multitask on the farm here. The only ones that are doing their job right is the cotton harvesters. <laughs> the brand new cotton harvesters here. Yeah, I need to do something with that. I need to, I think I need, maybe change the elevation. See how it dips there? Down here. I can see it really well from back here. Probably need to go over that with the flattening tool. And just kind of flatten all that out. Ooh, I'm going to have to climb the ditch bank here, guys. Can't take the uh, drive out. Can't get to it. But yeah, it seems to be going normal now. He's running uh, pretty smooth now. Yeah, take off, maybe take off a little bit of that edge. I hate to do that because you know you lose uh, 
yield off the field, but I mean, it's not like it's a small field anyway. So, I may try the elevation thing first. Try to flatten that out and see how that goes. Alright, E looks like he's going okay so far right now. Watching helper E down there in field one. Whoa, tracks. This thing is kind of squirrely to drive. It's kind of sensitive. I'm trying to ease on the steering here. Gotta get this plowed though. Easy, still going. He's not doing nothing crazy, is he? As long as he just turns around and goes back south. If I see him start to go towards the river, I'm tabbing back over there. Yeah, looks like he's turning and going on over east. Maybe it's just that first pass. Something with that first pass. With the planter. Okay, now it looks like he's uh, planting now. Looks like he's going back south. Uh-oh. Hang on, I spoke too soon. He looks like he stopped. Nope, there he goes. No, nope, he's moving. Alright. Tab back over here in just a second and check on him. Unfold plow. Boy, this thing turns. Get lined up real good here. Say I don't have create field on do I? I don't want to really create anything right now. I just want a basic plow. Okay. Let's head back over to the planter. Uh yeah, seems to be doing good. Seems to be doing alright. Maybe it's just that first pass. I don't know. We'll let it uh we'll let it roll here. Alright, uh where are we at now with the cotton harvesters? Probably need to bring this guy back. Okay, let me just back him up a little bit. So the planter doesn't hit him. Need to get to work on this field now. Now that we've got that one down there done. Get up here and cut these trees down and expand this. Make it bigger. Cotton harvesters. Oh, he's pooping a bale. Right in time here. First cotton bale, guys. I'll say it's our first. That other one might have pooped one up too somewhere. But yep, that is a cotton bale. One thing, I wish the wheels, I don't know, maybe they're not supposed to, but they should destroy the crop. The other wheels on the other stuff does, so. But here's our cotton bale. Looks like a, uh, I turned notifications off again, didn't I? Lord have mercy. So this is our cotton bale. We'll come and pick this up with um, a tractor and the uh, pickup thing here soon. Well, I think I'm going to wait till they get done and then come out in the field and do it. Because I really don't want to run over any crop and I don't want to interfere with them in any way, shape, or form. So, there are the cotton harvesters in there. one, that's the one we were with. And here's this one. This guy should have dropped a bell. Yeah, he just dropped a bell, so. Good to go. Or she just dropped a bell. Sorry. Good to go here. So yeah, you don't have to do anything with these. These just, they harvest, they'll drop their own bales where they drop them, and then they just keep going until they're done. So. These will be a lot of fun uh, on like a 4X map where you have the huge fields, you know. Get several of these things going. Um, we could get several going on here, but get several of these things going and, and have if you have like like a map like Plains and Simple where the fields are um, expandable you know tied together so yeah right let them guys go we're gonna keep the cotton harvest rolling and um, keep an eye on our planter make sure he doesn't end up in the burger again but yeah this is our cotton harvest it's going great it looks great this is really beautiful they did a it's, it's almost like a painting. 
if you look at it. I mean, it's 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 just so beautiful the way they did the textures and stuff on the uh, on the crop. It really is like a painting in the map backdrop. I mean, Stevie did a great job on the map, but uh, the cotton harvesters themselves are just beautiful. And the the actual process, the whole the whole cotton industry that they put in, they did a really good job with it. I'm very happy with it. All right, guys. Well, we'll come back and uh, probably pick up these bales that these guys are dropping. I don't know how many we'll get out of this field, but uh, we'll store them up somewhere. I'm thinking about storing them down there where we got our straw bales at. Uh, we'll wait and see what uh, what we actually want to do with them. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that next time. Until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. See you guys later.